Why can't I stop playing Stardew Valley? Why can't we just put this game down? It's 2 a.m. I need to sleep, but my form needs me more. But I have thought about it. So here are five reasons why you cannot stop playing Stardew Valley. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm sure you have heard of the infamous phrase of just one more game. And that phrase works extremely well with Stardew Valley. Let's just play one more day. And then that one more day turns into two. And then three. And then before you know it, it's 2 a.m. and you are about to pass out. Stardew Valley makes it incredibly easy to play just one more day. Because the days are so incredibly short. On average, a single day in Stardew Valley will only be between 15 and 20 minutes and that is just the perfect amount of time if a single day was an hour long you would definitely be less likely to play just one more day it is also important to note that the length of each day can be very different depending on how you play the game many actions will pause the game and thus making the game last longer like harvesting crops or opening your inventory screen you could if you wanted to make a single day lost two hours but i would recommend against that we are just here to have fun after all so for most players 15 to 20 minutes is a good motivator to start up another day Okay, so we understand that playing another day is pretty easy since the days are so short. But what motivates us to play another day? Well, that is pretty simple. Stardew Valley doesn't have an end. You can play the game forever and never really actually reach the end. Instead, Stardew Valley has tons of very small goals that are always just within your grasp. And when you hear the sound, you get that little dopamine hit that just makes you want more. Every single day in Stardew Valley, gives you a constant sense of accomplishment. Let's use the regular minds for example. Every 5 levels, your progress will save, meaning you can get deeper on your next visit. But there is something even more important about the mines. Every 10 floors, there is a guaranteed reward. A chest with a weapon or a new pair of shoes that will definitely help you progress further into the mines. That reward will keep you motivated to play the game. Knowing that there is a new and better reward begging you to collect it is highly motivating. And before you know it, you have played the game for the entire day. The game is absolutely filled with these micro rewards that you can achieve every single day. Some rewards take a little bit more effort than others, but these are by far the best rewards in the game. Completing the pantry bundle takes a ton of effort, but the reward is game-changing, as you will restore the greenhouse, making all of that effort completely worth it. Have you ever played an MMO and spent multiple hours trying to defeat a hard boss in a raid, and then finally, after defeating this boss, you leave with nothing? That doesn't happen in Stardew Valley. If something is hard to achieve, there will be a guaranteed reward that makes it worth the effort. And that's what makes the game satisfying to play. There is no boring days in Stardew Valley unless you accidentally planted 200 strawberry seeds on your first spring and now you're forced to manually water all of them. Stardew Valley also has a ridiculous amount of things to do. Most AAA games have an average completion time of 30 to 60 hours, and these games usually cost $60. Stardew Valley, on the other hand, should take you at least 120 hours just to reach the third year. And if you're going for true perfection, it'll take you even longer. All of that gameplay for a $15 game. It is true that you will always have a couple tedious chores to do every day, like watering some crops or petting your animals. You need not worry, because after you have completed your daily chores, you will have the rest of the day to do whatever you want. There is combat, mining, fishing, farming, processing raw materials, and even finding love. If you love combat and adventuring in dangerous places, then spend the rest of your day diving into the depths of the Skull Cavern. Love making friends or socializing? Then spend the entire day giving gifts to every NPC in the game. There are so many villagers, so learning their schedules can be a lot of fun if you are into that. 
or if you are like me, a fisher, a master angler, good. Because the fishing minigame was designed just perfectly. When you just start fishing, you'll catch easy fish. As you gain fishing levels, you will be able to cast your line further, and that means harder fish. There really is something for everyone, but all of these are just the core gameplay mechanics. There is something that Stardew Valley does that is much more important, and that keeps us absolutely hooked in this game. Stardew Valley is absolutely packed with mystery, easter eggs, and secrets, and finding these things is so much fun. Now, you might disagree with me on this one, but just, just hear me out. There is no alternative to Stardew Valley. I have been doing extensive research on games that are similar to Stardew Valley, and while there are some really good ones that are definitely worth checking out, none compare to the scope and polish of Stardew Valley. Numbers don't lie, so here are a few. To leave a review on the game, you either love the game or you hated the game. Stardew Valley has 340 thousand reviews and the overall review is overwhelmingly positive that is a ridiculous amount of reviews here is a list of the top reviewed games on the entirety of steam study valley is number six on this list you'll also notice that there is no other farming simulator in sight there are a couple really good games that people love but they aren't similar enough to study valley like animal crossing for example animal crossing is great but it's not the same. Currently, there is no game that can scratch your Stardew Valley itch. Hopefully, some of the upcoming farming simulator games can compete against the mega behemoth that is Stardew Valley. And most importantly, Stardew Valley is immersive, wholesome, and one of the most relaxing things you can do. When you dive into a brand new playthrough, you will feel completely immersed in the world. This is due to the charming graphics and the perfectly constructed music that matches the mood and the atmosphere. When you start playing Stardew Valley, it feels like you are pulled into the game, and the game's theme makes this even more true. In Stardew Valley, your character tries to escape the corporate world by moving to a small town with your very own farm where you are left to your own devices. That is exactly what you're doing in real life when you play this game. In a weird way, you are escaping a corporate world by escaping a corporate world but in a video game. Saying it out loud sounds kind of silly but that is exactly what is happening and I absolutely love it. And those are the reasons you cannot stop playing Stardew Valley. But what do you love about Stardew Valley. What keeps you playing the game? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you're feeling especially generous today, why not hit subscribe? I have plenty of Stardew Valley videos just waiting to be watched. But now I will see you in the next video.